Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein, going back up to the Great White North like we do every week, breaking down what's going on in the crazier-than-fiction Canadian underworld. A lot more to report. Uh, I think we're going to do two episodes this week. But right now, we're going to talk about a series of raids that hit the Rizzuto crime family in Montreal last week. Um bringing into custody a reputed lieutenant, uh, Giuseppe Joe Cheese Arcaracci. Um, I'm told they call him Joe Cheese because he owns a cheese factory. Uh, His mansion in LaSalle was raided. He he owns a couple restaurants in LaSalle too, I'm told. And the Crown found $2 million dollars three dozen kilos of blow and crystal meth. Um, not not looking great. Uh, and uh, Arco Rachi is allegedly the right-hand man of a reputed capo in the Rizzuto crime family, Pete Diadamo, um, a guy that's close to Leonardo Rizzuto, the uh, embattled godfather of Montreal, the Sicilian Mafia there, uh, in the middle of multiple wars, um, averting an assassination attempt last year and keeping a low profile right now. But Peter Damo's right-hand man is Joe Cheese Arcaracci. Um, brought into cut, they do things differently in Canada. He was brought into custody uh, and then was released. They, I mean, they do this, I guess, in in uh, U.S. raids where they'll where they'll take stuff. They won't necessarily arrest you, though. They'll just seize um, either drugs and money or property or whatever, and then you could be indicted a year or two later. Um, in this case, they arrest you, but they release you until, like, the bigger indictment comes down. This is uh, another part and parcel to uh, a series of raids that happened back in the winter that targeted a bunch of Rizzuto crime family residences, including Pete Diadamo, including the butcher, John Philippe Celestine, who is now defected and is with the Hells Angels camp. Um, And I'm told that uh, both Diadamo and Arcaracci are close to reputed Rizzuto crime family street boss right now, Baldi Barbario. So, Obviously, there's going to be some type of bus coming down. Um, it looks like there. If I know Vito Salvaggio is another guy that was raided back in the winter. Um, it's only a matter of time when it, when it drops. It looks like Adamo's right hand is right in the middle of this with what they found. And this is just going to, at the end of the day, you know, best case scenario, this just bleeds more resources away from the Rizzuto's, Um in a time of need where they kind of need an all hands on deck mentality uh, in, in their war with the hell's angels. they co-signed this blood family mafia war that looked like it was with, with another hell's angels group in Quebec city looked like it was dying down and it stopped. It couldn't be further from the truth. We're going to report more about that later this week. So, you know, this is, this is definitely kind of a dark cloud hanging over the Rizzuto crime family um, with an indictment certainly to drop, I would guess, before the end of the year, if not by the end of the summer. Um, and we should also say that both Adamo, Diadamo, and Joe Cesar Caracci have, conne- have connections to the Hells Angels, and we're working in, on a lot of those joint rackets uh, between the Hells Angels and the Rizzutos that just blew up in the last couple of years. So we'll keep you updated. And again, this is just going to be the first part of a, a two-parter on what's going up, going on up in Canada in the first couple of weeks of May 2024. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod. Please like, subscribe, share, spread the word. I'm out.